Samsung has removed that dedicated Bixby key with the Note 10 series, which I feel is a brilliant move by the way. Now that Bixby isn't being shoved down my throat anymore, I've kind of organically tried out Bixby a bit. And you know what? It's not all that bad. In fact, Bixby does have some nifty functions that I think you'd find really useful. Two such functions are Bixby routines and Bixby quick commands. They share a lot in common, hence my decision to get them together in this one video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and if you do end up finding this video useful, please do consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's go ahead, get started. First off, let me start with Bixby routines. Now it's been here for a while, finding it is very simple. Open up settings, scroll down to advanced features and we have Bixby routines. Now I've already made a couple of custom ones here. We also have a bunch of pre-made ones in the recommended tab. Okay, I keep talking about Bixby routines. So what are they? Let me go ahead and explain them with an example. So here's the extreme battery saver routine. We can see that if the battery level drops below 20%, that's the condition, then the phone will perform a set of actions like turn off Wi-Fi, NFC, keyboard vibration, and auto sync. It's also gonna reduce the screen brightness to 25%. Now, you may wonder why I have always on display set to on, but if you tap on the option, it pops up this edit menu. And from there, you tap on it again, you see that the always on display will only turn on when I tap on the screen. That is the level of granular control that Samsung gives you here. Simply amazing, right? Suppose I want to add something here, like screen off timing. All we got to do is click on any of the then options, click on the little green plus, scroll down the list of options, click on screen timeout and set it to 15 seconds, click on done. And, and done once more and your routine is saved. Pretty easy, right? Now this entire setup is very similar to this app called IFTTT or if this then that. Now if you want to try it out on a non-Samsung phone, you can give that app a shot. Now what if we want to make a new routine? Well, then from this screen, click on the plus to the top right. First we have to name the routine. Let's say this one is for when we forget to put our phone on charge in the night. So that's what we are naming it. Now clicking on the plus button below if we can set when we want this routine to trigger. So first up, the time. We want the routine to start at around 10.55 p.m. and end at 7 a.m. Now that's because I guess this is the time most normal people sleep. Well, not me. I have weird, weird, weird sleeping hours. Let's not go there. Now, we want the routine to be repeated every day. So we circle all the days. As it is set right now, the routine will trigger every day at 10.55 p.m. So now we have to add the second condition. The same way, this time we go into charging status and choose not charging. Now we click on next. And now under then, we have to fill up what we want the phone to do. So every day at 10.55, if it is not charging, what does the phone do? Well, we want to save battery, right? So we turn off Wi-Fi, GPS, mobile data, and also the always on display. Cool, right? Now let's take a look at the quick commands. How do they work? For this, we fire up the Bixby app. Go into the three dot menu, click on quick commands. Like with routines, we have a few recommended ones and the ability to create custom new commands as well. Now the main difference here is that instead of being triggered by an event, like the if part of the routine, quick commands are triggered by a certain phrase. Here we have it set to I'm heading out. Once Bixby hears the phrase, it will do all these things. Let's take a look at how you can set a quick command up for yourself. Tap on the plus button to get started with a new command. First, you have to enter the command phrase. Here we are heading, I'm heading out. Now time to add the commands. These are basically the tasks that you want Bixby to perform once it hears the command. Clicking on add a command gives us three choices. The first one, it's select a command. This lets us choose from a list of apps or capsules as Samsung is calling them. Let's click on settings and then click on turn off to not disturb. And now we have it in our list. Time now to add more. 
for ease of use, we are going to use the third option and type it out, but you can just as easily dictate the command. It works well either ways. Okay, so now we want this command to trigger when we are heading out for a run. So our first command is going to be navigate to the nearest park. The following instructions are pretty simple. Turn off Wi-Fi. Turn on mobile data. The next one is to start tracking my run. This will trigger Samsung Health, but we will get to that later. And the last one, now it's gonna have Samsung Music play the run playlist. Now do remember for this to work, you have to have Samsung Music installed as well as a playlist called Run created here. You can name the playlist something else if you want, just remember to replace the name right here. Now we are all done, we can tap the run button to get a demo of how this works. And once we are done with that, tap to save the quick command. Here's how it actually works. Now for my use, I can connect to my Bose NC700 headphones while going for a run, so I added an extra command there. If Bluetooth is on, connect to the Bose NC700 headphones. As you can see, this was added to the bottom of the pile of instructions. But I want this step to happen after the mobile data is turned on. So we just drag on this arrow and put this command after turn on mobile data. Hit save once more and we're done. So that's about it for this quick video. Once Samsung stopped shoving Bixby down my throat, I didn't end up kind of actively not wanting to use Bixby. So I actually found it quite useful. So I wanted to share what I liked about Bixby in this video with you guys. So what do you feel? Do you feel Bixby actually gets a bad rap because Samsung has been super aggressive in the past with it? Do you feel these functions are actually interesting enough for you to give Bixby a shot? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.